Hello, this is Billy. Today I am putting on a new ignition coil on a 2014 Kia Forte. Um, the symptoms of the problem was the motor was shaking and uh, was not, the car just wasn't running very good. It was the mo you know, the, there was some, some shaking going on and it just did not drive like normal at all. In any event, um, I took it to the local auto zone and had it put on the computer and the computer told me that the uh cylinder four ignition coil was bad so i bought the new one it was like 60 dollars, and i figured i'd make a video that could possibly help someone um this is a very easy procedure um this plastic thing on the motor it just kind of pops up and pops down um I'll show you. Um, it's already popped up, so it's going to come off really, really easy. But um, I'll show you on the bottom side of this thing. It has this one and that one and that one and that one. And these little these little ball things, they fit inside those. And that's how it, like, pops down and pops up. Um, in any event, it's pretty easy to move that thing out of the way. Um, and... With that out of the way, now you can see the coils. So here's coil one, coil two, coil three, coil four. Because um, this is cylinder one, cylinder two, cylinder three, cylinder four. Um, so their computer said that it was cylinder four, and I wanted to make sure that it was cylinder four. So for this part, the vehicle was running. Um, while the vehicle was running and it was shaking, which was the original problem, the vehicle shaking, just not running very good. So while the vehicle's running, I unplugged number one and the shaking got even worse when I plugged it back in it went back to the original shaking number two did the exact same thing um, when I unplugged number two the shaking got even worse when I plugged it back in it went back to the original shaking um, same thing with number three when I squeeze and pull back you know unplug it um, the shaking got even worse when it was unplugged and when I plugged it back in, it went back to the original shaking. Now, when I got to number four, um, I squeezed and unplugged, uh, the shaking did not change at all, which meant that this is the coil that was not functioning properly. Um, one, two, and three were functioning fine. That's why the shaking got even worse when I unplugged them. So that's a good way to tell which cylinder has the ignition coil that's faulty. Um, now for the rest of this, um, I turned the car off and did everything with it not running, obviously. But, so my problem was, for me, it was number four. That's a 10 millimeter bolt. Um, this line right here and this line uh, right here, it looked like it was kind of, it looked like it was just gonna be a problem, like it was in the way to try to get the coil out. Um, thankfully, um, I was able to get it in and out without moving, you know, much. This little styrofoam thing, I just kind of pushed it back out of the way like that. And then on this line here, this little plastic thing, it just pops up like that. And then you can push it back like that, okay? Now, just by moving that foam and that piece of plastic back, opens up all the room that you will need. Um, that's a 10 millimeter bolt. Pull that bolt out, set it somewhere safe so you don't lose it. Now, when, you, when you're pulling out the coil, just come up and twist, up and twist. And the shape of this thing, it's actually shaped exactly right so that when it comes up and it, it'll get to a spot where it's like it's not wanting to come out, right? Well, when it does that, just twist and up and it will come out. You will not have to move no more than what I just showed you. And the new one just goes right in the exact same way. 10 millimeter bolt back in, pop the little plastic thing back and the little foam thing back like it was, and then put this thing back into place. And um, when you when you put this back on, you just wanna get your, get down low so that you can see good, so that you can tell that these, these little ball things, this one and this one, and up here on this one, and over here on this one, make sure that they're lining up with, with these. And when they're lined up, you just push down and it'll go, bloop, it'll just kinda pop in and boom, you're done. Um, did that, and now the car's back to running great again. 
So now I'm about to make a video on changing the front brake pads on this very same car. Well, I hope this video was able to help someone. Thank you. Bye.